Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So I've been gone for a few days. I needed some rest. I woke up uh, early for Palantir Weekly. It's at 5 a.m. in my time on Saturday. And then I woke up very early to watch this launch on Sunday morning because it's very early for me when this was supposed to launch. <laughs> I woke up on my Sunday and the launch was delayed. And I was so tired after this many days of not sleeping that I just had to take some days off. But in the meantime, I saw a lot of upset from people on Twitter uh, who were saying that Rocket Lab is in trouble because they're not launching. And how the F are they going to make the 22 launches this year? And the stock is going to go down the toilet. So in this video, I'm going to address that question. Is Rocket Lab in trouble because they are not launching? And is the 22 launches still possible? And are the financials still possible to hit? So I don't like to waste your time. So here's the short answer. Rocket Lab is just going to be fine. Thank you for watching. All right, all right, just kidding. So, you know, I'm going to give you a longer answer. So, Francisco Ramirez, a fantastic guy in the Rocket Lab community, is always on Rocket Lab Weekly, and uh, he sends me a lot of private stuff. He actually sent me that there's an app that you can download on your phone. Let me see if I can show what it looks like. It's called uh, Next Space Flight. Uh, the app looks like this. I don't know, this little rocket guy, Next Space Flight, and it's done by NSF, NASA Space Flight, and you can go online uh, to this website and you can see the launches. For some reason here, you can only see February. Uh, in the app, you're able to see all the way to the end of the year. And even though if you can't find the launch on Rocket Lab's website, you can still find the launches here because Rocket Lab has this bad habit just like they do on earnings that they only guide to the next quarter. Uh, on the website, they only publish the next mission and that's it. So you're kind of wondering, but luckily there is other public websites uh, like this nasaspaceflight.com where you can track. And what does it tell us? So I took some photos for you guys and you can see that we're having this one launch in January. And then you can see that there is two scheduled flights in February, uh, one here and one here, all of them from the Machia Peninsula. Then you can see that there's one more in March and there is another one in March. So that is five. And then the next one is in May. So five launches in the first quarter. And let's see what did Rocket Lab tell us. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, we're right on target. So as you can see, zero trouble. But how is Q2 looking? So I also took that into consideration. So here you can see, was this the main one? So we have one and two in May. Then we have one more in June and then we have one and two more in June. And then we have to go here where we have one, two and three more in June. And that's all the ones that we have in the quarter. And you can see that is eight flights scheduled and they were only thinking to launch six. Did I mess something up? Was it in July? No, it's all of them in June. So we have eight. They are even overdoing their quota. So nothing is lost on Rocket Lab. Don't worry, calm down. The stock is going to be just fine. And by the way, the stock is stupid cheap. And I want to tell you an additional thing, which I feel people tend to forget somehow. Rocket Lab is not a rocket company. As funny as it sounds, they are a space systems company. 60, over 60% 60 of their income comes from the space systems. And I also want to show you this. They guided for a hundred million uh, quarter. So they have a shot at a hundred million quarter. Obviously it depends on them being able to do uh, five launches, but even if they do only four launches or even less, let's say they do three launches. Okay. So then they will still do about 80 million, 85 million, something like this uh, in income. 
and or in revenues. And last year at this time, I believe they did something like 50. That is a 60% growth. That is fantastic growth. And on top of it, uh, the space system is a very reliable, uh, you know, very easy to plan. So I'm, I'm very, very certain on this number. And just the space systems is doing more than all of the revenue that they had last year, right? And then on top of it, we just got this $500 uh, contract. Uh, and they said that work on that contract is going to begin immediately and they will be able to recognize uh, revenue straight away. We don't know how much. They did say that it's a back heavy contract, but it's less back heavy as their previous contract. And I don't know if that was priced in. So maybe we will even have, if, if they manage to do five launches and they manage to do uh, their targets that they, they set out to do, and on top of it, they didn't think with this 515 million quarter, we're going to have a very nice surprise in Q1. And in the meantime, the stock is trading stupid cheap. We are at the level. I didn't have the stock price up here. Let me just pull it up for you. So if you look at the stock price, you can see that this is where the electron blew up and had the launch failure. That was at this level. Since then, we have had so much improvement in the core business. This is when we got the 22 million, uh, 22 million, the 550 million new government contract. We lost all of that gain and we're just a little bit higher when Electron blew up. The price doesn't make any sense and Rocket Lab is just going to be just fine. So diamond hands, guys, if you believe in this company, still a very good uh, place to add. And uh, thank you for watching. Please make sure that you're subscribed. I'm going to be live streaming uh, the rocket launch if um, life allows it, but that's the plan. It's in seven hours. I'm very, very excited. Maybe even Matt Money is going to be with me. Maybe I'm going to be on his channel. I don't know. He, I wish Matt, if you're watching this, you could answer your tweets faster. But um, yeah, so it's gonna be exciting. If you wanna support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description box below. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck on the launch. See you there.